extra depth on what may be contributing to El Paso's dramatic surge in COVID cases. During the pandemic, many El Pasoans are asking themselves, do I quarantine while sick or do I work so I can pay bills and eat? Including the husband of El Paso and Michelle Russ. Now she told me after she tested positive for COVID-19, her husband refused to inform his employer. I know he felt this underlying fear that they're gonna send me home, I'm not gonna get paid. I mean, you know, we haven't experienced anything like this before. And um, he was just, yeah, we definitely had words. He didn't want to say anything. And I told him, I said, we cannot be part of the problem. We have to be part of the solution and you have to tell them. The city has said about 60% of the cases come from retail and restaurants. The fact is, many employees in those essential industries are paid based on hours worked. Workforce Solutions Borderplex in El Paso is hearing from employees and employers in situations similar to Michelle Russ's. CEO Layla Melendez has a message for both. Do not report to work. If your employer takes an action, file for unemployment and let that process work, its, work itself through. And yes, if you cannot work because you are COVID positive, you absolutely have access to unemployment benefits. I think my ultimate message to both of them is to tread cautiously, is be um, mindful about what they're trying to do. Don't make a decision in a rush. Don't panic, um, have, you know, listen to each other. And by the way, Russ's husband ended up telling his employer about his exposure and he will be paid his base salary while he quarantines. Loved ones have dropped off food and other items, so she and her husband haven't had to leave their house while they recover either. Russ has some advice for everyone based on her experience. It's hard. It's hard to ask for help. It's hard for me to ask for help. It is hard to ask, but I think we just need to come together as a community and take care of each other because I don't feel like anyone else is going to take care of us. And I've posted the links to both the U.S. Department of Labor, Wage and Hour Division and the Workforce Solutions Borderplex websites in this story on KVIA.com. And remember, the CDC states anyone who has or thinks they've had COVID or has been exposed should stay home and isolate even if they don't have symptoms. Well, I made the